Hi everyone, welcome to this reading. I have my crystal ball off to the side, so I will be scrying throughout this message. If you're new to my channel, my readings are a little different, and if you're returning, welcome back. You know how we do. If it doesn't resonate with you, if you're forcing the story to fit or arguing with it in any way, just leave it behind for the people who it's meant for. Channel members, you do have a collective message that posted yesterday, so check that out. And if you are interested in channel memberships, that link is always in the description box below. So uh, right off the bat, when I opened up to step into this energy for this reading, they were showing me this uh, all black space and the floor was made out of water and it kind of threw back to like some of the uh, <laughs> more modern horror movies, how they'll represent astral spaces or like Stranger Things, I think even did it once, where the floor is all this black water and it's surrounded by darkness. But in the darkness in the space, there were little stars. And these stars had a significance. Maybe I'll get into that if I can remember to get into that while I'm doing this message. Uh, on the other side of this water, there was a door. I don't necessarily feel that that door is important to this reading. Uh, what was important was that there was this sound and it was just this. It was just this like deep drumming. And every time that beat would hit, there was a ripple that would go across the surface of the water. But because of the darkness in this place, it was it was almost unperceptible. Um, at first I didn't see that that's what was happening. And then I realized that's what was happening. Now, uh, this tells me some things symbolically. This message is for somebody that's doing some insanely deep digging right now. And uh, <laughs> honestly, the feeling that it gave me was like somebody's with that drumming is like somebody's preparing for war. And um, I don't know if you are a person who is, for example, per per forming like a shadow journey and building up to a shadow journey or if you know maybe this is for somebody who has just been hitting the self-work for a very long time and has been trying to it feels almost like hunting down something hunting down something is exactly how it's being given to me right now and um what i realized when i was in this space is that that drumming is actually in the water it's something that is reverberating through the water reaching the surface and causing these ripples and it's going out through these lights like stars which are actually the pinholes by which energy escapes this space to create our reality it's like there's something inside um and you know this is what our core concepts are and our beliefs and our limitations are right they, they are vibrations that are creating our reality but there's this little core of something that is extremely powerful that has been really flavoring and um weaving a tapestry within someone's life that is probably very undesirable and this seems to be a message of confirmation for somebody that yes you are about to reach it there is also another element to this though is that um Mm. this is containing something so for example this this core whatever it is i'm going to call it a wound because that's how it feels it feels like a wound though we may not feel wounded by it anymore especially if it's something that has been with us for many lifetimes in that case it becomes part of who we are in terms of our belief or our worldview or the way that we're viewing things or the way that we even experience reality. Um, three through three, as I said that, which spiritual foundations is what that number means for me. Um, part of our spiritual foundations then. And uh, this is a little bit of a feeling that deep inside of that, underneath it, is something immensely beautiful. Hmm. Okay, so that means that this is like a twofold thing then this is a twofold confirmation for somebody it's that this wound whatever it is is hiding something very beautiful um and this feels a little bit like i'm seeing like this golden light like um the flame i'm seeing like a flame i'm actually seeing it's my candle one was bigger it's like this red flame so uh our passion it's hiding our passion you know, another way that we term this often is our, our purpose or our path, right? That's what a lot of people want to say about it. But really what we're talking about is we're talking that about that thing that really lights our soul up, right? The thing that we're really passionate about, it's hiding that from someone. We can get little bits and pieces of what that might be, but we're not getting the real meat of it because whatever this wound or this thing that's vibrating out, it is hiding that from us. It's occluding it somehow, okay? And so um, I have this out because 
when I reached this part of the message, once I realized that that drumming was deep down in this water, um, which represents her subconscious, her very deep subconscious, uh, they showed me a card, and that card uh, was this. And it's the thread, right? And you can see here that the individual is kind of like climbing this thread, trying to reach this rainbow. And so I just want to read uh, this out of the book. I feel like I'm supposed to read this for somebody. And so it's the thread, the path, the vein, the circuit. Uh, life is a tangle. So much happens simultaneously and circuitously, tuously, <laughs> leaving us grappling for meaning and direction in a network of distractions. When we cannot connect to the energy of the thread, however, we strike the deepest vein in the body. Our whole being responds to its tug. Meaning is pumped through our bloodstream, our mind and spirits are lifted. We remember who we are and what we came into this world to do. I just got chills when I read that. Uh, though this happens on the most profound level, it could be the simplest incident that activates the thread. A song, an image, a conversation heard in passing. No matter how confusing and multi-layered our modern lives become, if we are connected to the thread, we are free. Being tethered to it is the only anchor our heart requires. Requires. And so it's that there's something here that is covering over whatever that thread is for us, for example. Um, and, and I'm almost seeing that as being this darkness, right? And you can see this almost as the ripples going out. Uh, but we are required to find this thing, whatever it is, in that deepest, darkest space, because it's occupying the darkest space of this card, uh, in order to find what it is that really gives our life meaning and hope. So uh, I not to say that the person that this reading for doesn't have hope. I think that in your healing journey, you've actually had to heal a lot of things. You've probably healed yourself from depression. You've probably healed yourself from many limiting beliefs. This is somebody who has been at this for a very long time. And you're not the kind of person who is doing deep dives and feeling when will it ever be over? Or, you know, is this ever going to be done? You're not in that phase of it, right? You've gotten so deep and so so far and been so used to doing this by now uh, that you have a sense of empowerment when you're in those spaces and that really is the warrior's path right so this is very beautiful energy I love this um, this message seems to be confirming that for somebody that yes you are going to find this it is you you are right in what you're feeling you are you are coming into it now and that when you find this and when you you know, heal this, take care of it, reprogram it, whatever it is that you have to do in this space in your life, uh, you will uncover this right here, right? Let's see if there's anything else. Um, there is not. Okay, I'm hearing take one more card here, and I'm being shown something. I'm, I'm hesitant. Ah, what did I say? Oh my god, it's even a red candle. It's a red candle. So let's, uh, I want to take a look at this then. It's O-I... Oh, okay. I think that's it. Okay. Um, so the flame, uh, okay. It's the fire, the spark, the glimmer. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> In Sanskrit, the word for fire is Agni. The ancient yogi saw this flame at the center of the abdomen and believed it to be responsible for our vitality. When it is lit, we are connected to our purpose. There we go. And sense that life is a sacred gift. It is said that those who cannot see the sacred around them have let their inner flame go out. Think of this card as a call to reignite that fire, to cup your hands gently around those things you've forgotten and protect the flame no matter how harshly the winds around you blow. It could be an inner archetype that begs you to light its wick. It is likely that the poet, the mystic, or the shaman would call to you with the language of the flame. So this is very interesting um, because this really... This really tells me that somebody here, you are, you're about to discover an aspect of yourself that most people never fully discover. Like, like to be honest, most people never fully discover this. 
Um, when we talk about Agni, this is really that fire of consciousness within us or that fire of the divine that's inside of us. And um, this is what this seems to be leading you to. So it goes beyond just a purpose. It goes to this core of who you actually are, right? It, not in this identity sense, but in this very spiritual, mystical sort of way, uh, understanding that fire that creates your creation, your creative mind. Um, oh, it's almost like, it's almost like the first drum I heard was this wound you have to clear. And there's another drum underneath it. Do you know what I mean? Something that vibrates something out that is your pure potential, that is love, right? that is your bliss. Um, this is actually a very, whoever this message is for, um, you've been in some very emotional spaces trying to dig this out. And uh, I think that, you know, it's come in waves, it's come in cycles, and you may be in a place now where those emotions hit you a very different way than how they used to, um, because it comes with this bittersweet sort of understanding that you're getting close and that what you're doing is the work right? You are doing the great work. And um, this is just beautiful. This is like true spiritual alchemy that's coming through in this energy for me. This is true spiritual alchemy, where we really uncover something and we unleash uh, the potential of that sort of God self out and allow our reality to be created from that state rather than a state of wounding. So whoever this message is for, um, this is absolutely beautiful. Like I, I had so much energy going through me when I was channeling this, that this is by far um, definitely the most energy I felt in reading. And um, this is where we start to turn a new page in our life and we create something completely different for ourselves. So whoever this is for, I hope this resonates for you. I hope that you found it, <laughs> um, the small collective that this is gonna be for. And uh, if it resonated for you, please hit that like button. Feel free to leave me a comment. And until next time.